What are these kids doing? Don't shoot. <laughs> what are they doing? We dropped our weapons. We surrender to the legend. <laughs> Hey, what's up, you guys? Jack Jack here. So, as you can tell, I haven't uploaded in a while, and the reason for that is because I haven't been playing much Fortnite during Season 5. I played the last two weeks of the season to complete 100 tiers, grinding out challenges, and now it's already Season 6. So, I'm back, but I've noticed something different playing again. No, it's not the drum gun being vaulted or the Loot Lake Island floating around the map. What I notice is on average, people are just getting better at the game, and before my break, I expected this. Playground just came out, so people were practicing and, you know, having fun fun and learning how to build and almost everyone was switching over the builder pro because it was the easiest building settings in my opinion also i think builder pro is now the default control setting so anyone new to fortnite starts and learns builder pro so i hop back in the fortnite after my break and i see this From what I remember, during the earlier seasons of Fortnite, people didn't build like this, or just didn't build at all to be honest. Just a lot of people running around, shooting first, making sure they shoot first, few walls over there, few staircases over there, nothing special. Not to mention, we had to deal with a lot of stuff, you know, the, the building was really buggy, but you couldn't build in other objects like trees or cars. Also there was no turbo building, so if you were getting shot at, you had to place your wall manually every single time. There was also no material auto change, so you know, when when you run out of materials you have to switch manually and you know everyone got caught off guard when that happens not long ago we only dreamed of building like our favorite pc fortnite players and now people are looking like pc fortnite players on console and this got me thinking I need to step up my game. If you see my previous video, how I play old school on console, you'll know I play old school control settings and was always dedicated to old school since season one. So I hopped onto a playground and practiced a bit, you know, against people using Builder Pro, and I became more aware of what I can and cannot do. So I'd say I'm pretty decent, pretty good at old school building, but one thing I've noticed is that I can't switch through building options fast enough to perform some building techniques that I see other people doing. Some techniques for roofs on floors, and single or double staircase with walls and the more advanced technique staircase with walls and floors. I think building with old school settings is generally harder to use because it requires more button clicking to build. Now with the builder pro settings it's just overall better for pretty much everything in my opinion like faster building and for some people switching through weapons. I've always known this but I've always used old school. Now season 6 everyone knows they need to learn to build at least a little to succeed. I played with old school for a really long time so switching settings now will be a big challenge but to be at that next level I believe I should learn builder pro so let's see how I do. Wall floor. Whoops. Oh shoot out Matt. So I practiced with Builder Pro alone in Playground for a while. Once I got a little bit better, the next step was getting used to the weapon switching with LB and RB, which I hated about Builder Pro. I just couldn't get used to it. I decided, yeah, I'll do the custom settings option. So I kept my old school combat settings, which was the Y button to switch through weapons, then modified Builder Pro as my building settings. One thing I modified in Builder Pro was adding a keybind edit button so I can instantly edit structures without delay. Now I'm a hybrid old school Builder Pro Fortnite player which is awesome. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. Peace.